am Gail. I work with Elite Models and you're watching Miss Malinator. I am the head booker here in Elite, so I overlook all um, all departments that are working here, whether it's films, whether it's TVC or fashion for now. Uh, it's just about making sure that the models are being pitched at the right place for the right campaigns and the right shows. So someone's overlooking it. Uh, we at Elite structure the models for us. We always discuss how each model is, what is her potential and where we can push her and get her the right kind of work and campaigns. We start with pushing her for editorials because that's a good exposure for the models in terms of working with photographers, uh, knowing which angles suit them better and kind of getting more confidence. And thereof we start pushing them for various campaigns and shows. When the model walks in, what we look at is, uh, one is height, um, second are her features. Sometimes the model doesn't quite um, look as interesting in person, but it is up to us to understand whether she has the potential to make it big. And um, we do take Polaroids, we do meet the models, we take a video test to see um, how comfortable she is in front of the camera. If she's a fashion model, we ask her to walk to just figure out whether she can manage to walk well and it's something that we can push her for. And uh, based on that, then we discuss it internally, we have reviews, we decide whether we would want to take sign on the model and then take it further with her. Uh, our models work with all designers. There's no specific designer. They've worked for Lakme Fashion Week, Wills Fashion Week. They're doing, you know, all the bigger campaigns as such. Um, we get inquiries from everyone, from Wendell Rodericks, from Shah Abdul Razi, Manish Malhotra, um, Chain and Falguni. So we're working with everybody, you know, in the market and all the designers know and love our models. So they love uh, Portfolios are very important. A lot of time when the models are doing their portfolios, we kind of suggest photographers. We will help them with makeup artists and stylists. But that primarily depends on whether it is a fashion model or it's an advertising model. Because uh, the different photographers have different strengths in, in that sense. So it's very important that they go to the right people to have their pictures clicked. But we do not get involved beyond that. Finally, we leave it up to the model to decide on who she's comfortable with. Because eventually the model and the photographer need to be comfortable working with each other. Don't go very gaudy with the makeup. Don't wear really loud clothes because eventually and you know the one thing that people really do wrong is they for a portfolio they focus a lot on the background and things like that what we require is for the face to be seen and for the model when you look at a picture you need to look at the model so there's no reason to really go very loud and have too many things distracting away from the face that you really want and you know when we get the portfolios they've been touched up so much and there's so much of photoshop that's been done uh, it, it doesn't work. At least for a portfolio, it is important that you look as natural and as beautiful as possible because this is what goes to the clients and then when, when, when in case of the client calls the girls for a meeting and they look so drastically different from the pictures, it doesn't work. It doesn't get you anything. So as much as possible for your portfolios, don't have too much Photoshop. As in, I would say avoid Photoshop as much as possible. Um, I would say a white t-shirt, <laughs> you know, you need a white singlet that you carry with you everywhere because when you're going for castings and we call them very late sometimes. So if they have to run out of college or run out of somewhere, it's always good to have a white singlet because you can then just do a hairbrush, makeup, yeah, and um, I would say three things. These three things are what works for me. It's like a white singlet, a hairbrush. Makeup kit, your lipstick, your mascara, your basics, which you require, should always be with you. Okay. And, a, and a deodorant. <laughs> yeah. Best experience was when I got four of my models, um, an international brand contract. So that was like really, really good. Worst experience was um, when a model was to shoot for a product but could not make it here in time. And the client was really very upset and you know we had to really really struggle and make sure that she reached there on time 
and uh, thereafter she had to shoot and fly back again so that was it was really chaotic it was quite stressful oh, it's, it's very hard work it's a lot of work that goes and uh, you know initially you kind of think it's very glamorous and beautiful but eventually it's just work it's just work it's like any other profession where you have to put in long hours where a model has to be dressed up but probably needs to stand in one position for a long time for the photographer to do his lightings and stuff which can be very tiring so it it is hard work it's not as glamorous as it looks <laughs> Thank you.